In this video, I will demonstrate how to use analytic solver to perform time series forecasts. The objective of time series forecast is to uncover a pattern uh, in the time series data and then predict the pattern to forecast the future. So it's basically based upon the past value or the past forecast errors. So in this demonstration, we have a data set of 12 weeks of gasoline sales. And now we're going to try two different methods. Um, the first one is the moving average smoothing. And the second one is the exponential smoothing. So the moving average method uses an average of the most recent n data values in the time series to forecast for the next period. So in here, we're going to develop a three weeks moving average for the original 12 weeks of gasoline sales. So we highlight the data from data mining under the time series box, select under smoothing, moving average. You want to make sure the first row contains headers. If you select that, and so you can week goes into the time variable sales is the selected input variable we're gonna change the interval to three because we are using three weeks moving average to forecast and we're gonna check box the produce forecast and we're just gonna make one forecast and then click ok so the results is generated in the moving average worksheet and with a graphic of uh, actual versus fitted line. So you can see that there are some discrepancies between the actual and forecast. The red one is the actual and blue one is the forecast. Let's take a look at the um, performance of our model. Uh, we take a look at metrics like MSE, which stands for mean square error. That is a commonly used measurement for regression model performance. And there's also a MAD, or in other words, MAE means mean absolute error. So which is 2.66. Our MS is 10.222. So the mean square error is a measure of how close the fitted line is to the data point. So we want to find a model that produced the smallest MSE. So we want these two lines to have the smallest differences possible. Also with this method, let's take a look at, for example, week nine, the actual sales is 22 thousands of gallons gasoline, and the forecast sale is 18 thousand gallons. So the residual is the difference between the two, which is 4 thousand gallons. The absolute average of this would be the 2.66 um, of the MAD. Let's try the second method, which is the exponential smoothing. So again, exponential smoothing different from the moving average is that it used a weighted average of the past time series as the forecast. In other words, the older the data, the less priority or weight the data is given. Newer data will be more relevant and is assigned more weight. And smoothing parameters, or we call it smoothing constants, usually it's denoted by alpha, determine the weights for observations. So we usually use exponential smoothing to make short-term forecasts. Uh, if we use it for long-term forecasts, it can be kind of unreliable. But here we have such a small data set, it wouldn't hurt to use the exponential smoothing. And I expect this result to be better than the moving average. So under the time series smoothing, select exponential. Again, week is the time variable, sales is the selected variable. And here we keep the default level alpha to be 0 0.2 and check to produce the forecast and click OK. So now we have similarly, we have a um, actual versus fitted line and we can see that our blue forecast line now has been more smooth 
than the moving average output. Let's take a look at our model performance. Our MSE has reduced, which is a good news. So it's 8.98 versus the 10.22. Our mean absolute error has also decreased as well. And take a look at our week 9. Again, the actual sales is 22 southern gallons and the forecast sale is 18 southern 486 gallons, which is closer to the uh, actual sales slightly and then the residual will be uh, also smaller. So this has proved that exponential smoothing works better than the moving average smoothing for our data set. So this is the two time series forecasting techniques we just introduced.